Hello, this is Watch All About with another watch review. In this review, we're looking at the brand new Christopher Ford C60 Trident Pro 600 meters. Uh, so you may uh, be aware that Christopher Ford have recently released a whole new range of uh, Tridents. Uh, originally, there was just this one and only Trident. This is the uh, the original one that I've I have personally. Uh, but now they've released a, a great range of Tridents. Uh, here's the example of the quartz version which is the 300 meters but I've reviewed that in a, another video so feel free to have a look at that if you're interested in that one but this review is looking at the 600 meters so it is a uh, more expensive than than the existing trident it costs 600 pounds on leather or 660 pounds on bracelets so this will be 660 pounds but for that you do get a really exquisite timepiece you can tell that everything about it is much higher quality that they've done a really great job in of grading it as well and it just uh, oozes quality and it, it looks excellent on the wrist so I just put it on there we go so uh, the size of this one it comes in 38 mil and 42 mil ver versions this is the 42 mil version uh, so the size is 42 mil in diameter it has a lug to lug length of 51 and a half mil and a height of 13.3 mil. Now, because it's automatic, it's a little bit thicker than the the quartz version. The quartz version is 11.75 uh, mil, so you might be able to just see the the difference is mainly in the case back. So this is obviously because it has to hold a uh, an automatic movement in, which is naturally larger. So the um, the main upgrades are the fact that it's a uh, higher um, has a better water resistance 600 meters rather than 300 meters uh, it has a, a thicker sapphire crystal as well so it's a 3.4 mil thick rather than this one has a 3.1 mil thick which is the standard 300 meters um, and then the main feature extra feature is the zirconia ceramic bezel which is really nice to, uh, to behold it's really high quality and you can tell that it's something quite special and expensive uh, the case itself has apparently been completely re-engineered, but the only th thing I can really see is uh, a new crown, which is very nice. Um, but if I just compare it to my existing Trident, you can see it does look very similar. Obviously, the design is more or less exactly the same. I believe they're having them manufactured by someone else now, so, um, so it apparently does... Uh, have a little bit better finishing um, and better machining. Okay, so let's uh, continue thinking about the case. Um, like uh, all other Tridents, it has a nice polished top, uh, a polished bottom, case back, and uh, uh, these brushed sides. Two brushed sides, there we go. Uh, all the machining is, as you'd expect, absolutely spot on for a watch costing this much. Um, the new crown is really nice actually, it has big thick um, grip and a nice little matte finish on the end and a polished CW logo so that's really uh, quite pleasant, it's nice to see something a little bit different and it's uh, really high quality and I tell you what, when you're unscrewing it and when you pull it out you can just tell that it's really really well made and really well put together because it feels so chunky and and well put together. Usually you have a little tiny bit of wiggle. I'm trying to wiggle that crown now and there's there's absolutely no movement whatsoever. So it just uh, goes to show what kind of um, uh, build quality this watch has. Um, so that's, they're the main upgrades, the, the case uh, and the, um, the bezel. Obviously there's quite a couple of uh, very obvious major changes as well, if we compare the two. Firstly, the date window, you'll notice on the old one, used to be at four o'clock and it is at four o'clock on the quartz, quartz version but now on the automatic versions it's uh, in the the more uh, usual three o'clock which many people are very happy to uh, to see personally I I never really minded the four o'clock version but obviously uh, a more traditional three o'clock is uh, uh, very pleasing to the eye and then you'll also notice that the uh, uh, the hour markers are all buttons on the new version whereas on this one we have the uh, the dots uh, on uh, on most of them um, and then finally 
the uh, the last change is the second hand. Can you see the difference on the second hand? How on this one we have a nice little dot, uh, loom dot, um, just there at the uh, the base of the hour markers, uh, which is good because it means that the second hand is now loomed, whereas before it didn't have any loom on it whatsoever. So um, final final change actually I forgot to mention is the case back. Um, all of the new tridents have this uh, decent case back, uh, so you'll notice it's uh, the same on the quartz version, uh, but it's a uh, really, really good uh, case back, nice and deep, stamped. Uh, we'll have a look at it in closer detail with the macro lens in a little while, but it's really, uh, really nicely done, really uh, tidy, and it's really deep as well. Uh, miles better than the old case back, as you can see there, it's really weedy in comparison. Uh, really light etching uh, and scratches scratch really easily uh, so in that regard that's a, a really good upgrade as well uh, so the case uh, as I mentioned before is all really well uh, made uh, the um, the crown is really nice the bezel is absolutely spectacular as well the uh, ceramic uh, inlay uh, all of these markings are uh, engraved into it as well and they're absolutely done with perfect precision uh, we have a, a nice little triangle with the loom dot in it as well and then the bezel action has been upgraded as well uh, it feels much better than the existing trident so in many respects it is a, a completely new watch uh, obviously let's not forget you are paying for it so in a way you know it's sort of expected but it's it is nice to see and nice to feel that you definitely are getting more watch for the money for your money okay so let's uh, just think about the uh, um, dial now. <clears throat> so as I mentioned before uh, we have new uh, um, hour markers which re are really smart it, it does um, make the whole watch feel a little bit classier uh, having these baton hour markers uh, and just everything about it is really well made as uh, as the existing trident was I really like the uh, the dial and the way it was made on the existing trident this uh, Gilosh wave pattern on the dial is absolutely flawless and it provides a lovely uh, amount of texture to the dial. Uh, I love the uh, the date window with the, the little frame as well. Uh, that's uh, perfectly made uh, and just the hands as well. Uh, I really like the des design of the hands, the um, onion hour hand and the, the sword minute hand and the uh, trident counterweight on the second hand, um, obviously referring to the uh, the theme of the watch. Um, everything's absolutely flawlessly made and uh, you know when you uh, when you see it in the flesh it really does look like a really good quality watch uh, I have noticed as well that the anti-reflective um, coating on the uh, the 600 meters pro is a lot better as well um, I'm in a conservatory at the moment so there will be a lot of uh, daylight and reflection but uh, when you're wearing it every day uh, you can tell that it has got a, an upgrade uh, in that sense. So the loom as well has been upgraded to uh, 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 another level of superluminova, and I have actually physically noticed um, it be much better when I'm outside and I come inside. It really does glow brightly, whereas with the existing Trident, it was really poor. The loom didn't really do that at all. It didn't charge up very fast or didn't grow very brightly, but that's not the case with, with this new Trident, which is good. <clears throat> okay, so uh, just the moving on to the bracelet. The bracelet is more or less pretty much exactly the same. Again, still very well made. Apart from one tiny gripe I have is the um, it's changed to, to standard pins to a, more of a pin and collar system. So there's a tiny collar which sits in the centre of this middle link and you have to push the pins through the whole lot. But it, it's really, really tight and really hard to get out. So obviously, in one sense, it is uh, is good because you know it's they're never going to pop out when they shouldn't. But in another sense, if you're trying to resize it yourself, I must warn you, it is an absolute pain in the bum. Uh, it took me a very long time um, to resize it. Probably the longest time amount of time it's ever taken me to resize a watch. Um, so in that regard, it is a little bit annoying. Personally, I I'm perfectly fine with normal pins, or obviously screwing pins are, are even better. Um, so that's just something uh, worth worth noting. 
but the uh, the links are really well made. I really like the polished center link uh, and the brushed uh, outside. Um, and uh, then we see it's got polished ends as well. The links are thick, very nicely made. And uh, the bracelet reduces in size to about 18 mil at the buckle as well. So it doesn't um, feel quite as as big and overbearing and chunky as some other watches which remain that width all the way down. Uh, so in that in that regard, it is very classy and uh, smart looking. Okay, so let's get the um, macro lens out and we'll have a look at it in much closer detail. So just look at the logo. You can see all the printing is very nicely uh, crisp and printed well. 600 meters at the bottom. And then we have Swiss made there, and the loom dots, extra little loom dots there, and the hour markers you can see are all absolutely flawless, absolutely perfectly made, every single one of them, and applied spot on as well. We have double batten at 12, and then we have the hands, again, just like every other trident that's ever been created, really high build quality, perfectly made. There's the Trident counter counterweight and there's the uh, little loom dot there. Very nice little addition, it's a good, good thing. Um, uh, let's look at the date window, there we go. Again, very nicely made, great finishing to it. Uh, so here's the ceramic bezel. So you want, I'll just give it a quick wipe. A million times better than the standard aluminium bezel, you can tell that it's high quality. Um, and as you can see, all these markings are actually engraved into the ceramic bezel and filled with loom. So these are these actually light up, which is pretty impressive. And you can see the uh, uh, like how uh, shiny it is as well, almost as if it's polished. There we go. So just looking at the edging of the bezel, the grip is really good, really well machined. Provides perfect grip to to be able to move it and then if we move on to the case now here's the bushed side and the polished top of the lug very nicely finished here's where the bracelet meets the case which fits perfectly and if we come this side we'll have a look at the new crown now there we go How about that? so we have this nice matte finish on the end with this polished uh, CW logo uh, looks great looks really really good much better than the existing crown and this really thick decent quality grip as well so if I just unscrew it there we go Ooh, yeah. there we go Let's pull it out decent uh, thread on that as well there we go just screw it back in So I'll just move on to the case back now. Mm. Let's turn it around. Again, as I mentioned before, it's such a massive improvement on the existing uh, case back. Nicely thick stamped uh, trident icon with a nice uh, 
uh, galosh wave pattern in the back as well which matches the front and then these details around the side again really really deep um, deeply stamped which is a uh, really impressive to see and it's nice that they're all polished top as well so there we go and then obviously we have a polished surround at the case back so just looking finally at the bracelet you can see the uh, polished center links and then the brushed outer sections with a polished end and the uh, brushed buckle as well very well made the buckle is uh, only single lock in you open it up by pressing the polished buttons either side like so and then we this is the little bit where these two nipples latch onto and the Chris Ford logo deeply etched on the uh, the main arm of it as well so it is a, uh, a well made buckle as well actually so let's uh, summarize the uh, uh, the this is the Chris Ford C60 Trident Pro 600 meters so it's the automatic um, uh, the the movement actually is one of two movements um, that's the either the ETA 2824-2 uh, which for many people they say they prefer uh, mainly because it has more history um, and it's a, it's a more famous movement or you can alternatively get the Salita SW200-1 now personally I would prefer the Salita and this is because of what I was uh, I was speaking to Chris Ford himself about it once um, and he said he would prefer the Salita mainly because it's basically exactly the same movement as the ETA but it's made on newer equipment uh, so many of the ETAs are being made on the existing uh, machines which are decades old whereas the Salita stuff is all much newer much cleaner environment so you're likely to get a better movement uh, made to a higher level and will probably in the end last longer um, so uh, Salita also did a lot of work for ETA ETA contracted out a lot of movements to Salita in the past so you never know some of your ETAs um, in some of the watches probably were made by Salita themselves anyway so in that regard you know they're all more or less uh, one and the same so um, uh, you know to me there's not really any any point in being bothered about which uh, which movement you get so anyway um, this was the uh, C60 Pro 600 um, 600 meters really really high quality watch for the price um, I love the ceramic bezel they've done a really good job on that um, they've also done a really good job on uh, upgrading the uh, the case in the form of the case back and the crown um, I also really like the um, the new hour markers and the new second hand so in that regard they've done a they've done a fantastic job in upgrading it there's no doubt about it obviously you do have to pay more money for it um, but uh, in my eyes it's still fantastic value for money it's really really well made watch and it's beautifully finished um, let's not forget you get a five years warranty with it as well which is absolutely absurd in the watch industry you, you don't get that anywhere else uh, Chris Ford also well renowned for having a fantastic customer services um, so in that regard if you like the, if you like the watch and you have the money I would highly recommend it um, it's uh, the Trident my Trident my original Trident bless it is one of my most favorite watches in the entire world um, and with the new version it's uh, you know it's just got even better so I would highly recommend it so there we go this was the uh, Christopher Ward C60 Trident Pro 600 meters automatic and that's what you're all about <laughs>